Hey everyone, welcome to Topics from a Hat. Thank you for joining me. Today, we are going to take two topics that are in this hat um, and I'm going to discuss them. We will discuss. Um, <clears throat> now, I've actually reached out to people. Um, a couple of my friends have given me some ideas here, and my niece and nephew have also put some input um, into some of these topics. And my idea is I'm thinking I'm going to reach out to you guys. So any of you watching this video, if you want me to talk about a topic, whether it be, um, I don't know, like like vodka or um, Cheetos <laughs> or um, stilettos, right? Um, I can talk about that kind of stuff. We can, um, yeah, just talk about things. So we are going to grab two today, I think. I think two is a good starting point. And yeah, so we're just going to shake it. Uh, okay. I can't like see them because I've folded them. But maybe what I'll do is I'll do this. I'll do like a. Let's see what it is. Favorite soup. Top three, top three favorite soups. Here we go. Okay. Um, I'd have to say my favorite is cream of mushroom. I mean, you can do so much with cream of mushroom soup. Like casseroles, cream of mushroom soup is your friend. Uh, just like cream of mushroom soup in general with crackers, yum. And then uh, yeah, actually, one thing I haven't done with cream of mushroom soup in a long time, but my grandma used to make them, is, you know, like a grilled cheese sandwich, you put, like, the butter on the bread, the, the outside of the bread, you put the cheese on the inside, and then you, like, fry them up, right? Well, my grandma, she used to take mushroom soup and put it on the inside of a sandwich, <laughs> <laughs> um, and she would do it up like a grilled cheese. I think she would do them in the oven for the most part, though. So, like, and then, like, flip them. But I'm telling you, they were really good. And I'm not going to lie. I think I might have to make these one of these days soon because I don't think my husband's ever tried them. And they're pretty good. Don't knock it till you try it. <laughs> uh... Okay, um, so that was number one, mushroom soup. Then I'd have to say um, Campbell's Chunky Chicken Corn Chowder. Where my chowder has that right mm -hmm. chicken corn chowder is really good. Again with crackers. I like to like crumble my crackers and put them in my soup, pretty much any soup. And then... Honestly, I think I'd have to say like my third favorite favorite soup is when I make like a turkey soup. Like a homemade broth with you know, and then you make your soup. Ugh. I like to do that. Yeah. But usually only like once a year. Cause sometimes I'll do like a Thanksgiving turkey. Um I actually did a Christmas turkey this last Christmas. And yeah, it was awesome. So, okay, those are my three favorites. What are your free three favorites? Put them down in the comments. I'll totally read them. And we can talk soup. I'd love to talk soup with people. Like, let's talk soup. Do you like soup? Maybe you hate soup. I know some people that don't like soup. Okay, I'm moving on. Okay, let's 
check it out. Games. Oh, games. I love games. I love games. I love, I love any type of game, to be honest with you. Scavenger hunts, the best. Love them. Uh, Connect Four, Tic Tac Toe, all like the basics. And then you got like Cards Against Humanity, awesome game. If you haven't played it yet, please play it. It's so much fun. Like once this quarantine stuff is over, get your friends together, play. <laughs> you will laugh. You will. I I just. I know it. And you'll learn some things about your friends too. So it's cool all the way around. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I love games. Uh, yeah. They're so much fun. And it just like makes me think of my friends because my friends know that I love games. <sighs> uh, what else? Oh, actually I, I, um, I own a daycare and one of the games that I have for the kids to play is it's like a caterpillar and he's got I guess more like yeah he's like a caterpillar he's got little hands and his hands collect marbles so what you do is you have these tweezers and you gotta try and get the marbles into the holes but his hands are like this and there's like a song playing and it's a whole thing and it's it's really fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's challenging a bit. And yeah, because like also the tweezers, they're not great. They're not great. So sometimes you have to like hold spread them open a little bit to like get the thing. But yeah, it's fun. Uh what else? Oh headbands. Headbands. I like to pull headbands out at a party. I'll tell you that right now. I love headbands. It's so fun. And actually, I just got like the new version and it's got act out. Pfft. Hello. So it's basically incorporating charades, which is awesome. And um, what else? Also, like games like Red Rover. Pfft. Have you ever played Red Rover? So fun. But you need to be on a field, and you can't be on a field right now. So, there's that. But life will get back to normal, so I mean, we will be able to play Red Rover again. And if you haven't played it before, I suggest finding a group of people and playing Red Rover. And, yeah. So, I feel like I'm rambling now. I really want to do another one. But I won't because I said I'm only going to do two. So we'll leave it at that. And yeah, I will be back with episode two of Topics from a Hat soon. I don't know when. Uh, I was kind of thinking maybe um, like twice a week I would do an episode of this. Let me know what you think. And I will see you in the next video so make sure that you subscribe and like this video if you liked it and yeah bye everyone <laughs>